it's Michelle and today I wanted to show you guys how to make a Rudolph Christmas wreath and I think this is going to be so fun actually it's going to be a mini wreath I got this at the Dollar Tree and it says 12 inch on the tag but it's not 12 inches by any means looks like about nine inches and I purposely rummaged through the pile to find a sort of smaller one to fit better with some of my other components that I'm so excited about I can't wait to show you guys the one thing that inspired this entire wreath but I'll show you all of my other supplies first before we get started I got this at the Dollar Tree and this is a red glitter ball ornament that I got from Dollar Tree too and that was in a big long tube of ornaments half were sort of shiny and half were glittery and it was 12 in a pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree so that is an awesome deal and that's going to be whoops that's going to be Rudolph's nose and we're going to hang a little bell from his neck and I got those at Dollar Tree too and those were nine in a pack for one dollar at Dollar Tree and they're sort of the larger jingle bells I really like those so that's going to go around his neck and at Walmart I got this beautiful ribbon and I usually don't pay five dollars for a roll of ribbon but I just really love this I was particularly looking for some ribbon that had red green and gold in it and this has the nice thick wired edge and there's 25 feet on that roll so I thought that was pretty good and I do have another use for this coming up too so you'll see this again and I'm definitely going to get my five dollars worth out of that roll of ribbon it's going to be a bow for Rudolph's neck today and along with that I'm going to put a couple of pine sprigs just for extra decoration at the bottom of our wreath and I got these at Walmart too and they were 98 cents each and then I'm going to be using my brown floral tape and a brown pipe cleaner. So I hunted up all of these supplies after being inspired by one particular element to this wreath. And that also came from Walmart. And you guys, I was so excited about these. I think they are so beautiful gold glittery antlers I think that is so cute and they're on a wire stem so that you can put those into whatever you want and we're going to be putting them into our grapevine wreath so when I saw these at Walmart the first thing I thought of was a Rudolph wreath I think these are beautiful and these are about six inches long and they were 98 cents a piece but if you guys wanted to do a full size wreath or something, they did have them in larger sizes. So you could do about anything that you wanted with these in all different sizes. And I just love those antlers. So that was why I picked out this particular wreath. I hunted out that smaller size because I really thought that that was proportioned just about right for those antlers. So today it's going to be a little mini wreath. I'm going to take my price tag off of there and get started. Another thing I liked about this was it was kind of a little bit warped actually. It wasn't really a circle like it was expected to be and I think that that sort of elongated shape made it look more like a reindeer's face. So that's going to help really for it to look like a reindeer even more. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my price tags off of everything before I get started. I'm just going to take out one of the jingle bells and one of the little silver strings that they had included already in the package and we are ready to start putting that together okay like I mentioned we're going to put a bow 
right at his neck. And I kind of wanted the sprigs coming out from that at the bottom. And I don't think we're going to need these larger pine cones on here. Because they would just be hidden by his bow anyway. So I'm just going to cut those off. And we can use those later in a different project. And then I'm going to take my stronger wire cutters and cut this down. going to kind of fit them together here and just size it up next to that and see what I think. right about there. Then we can wrap the two together. Just everything back. And I want it kind of narrow just so that it goes across behind his bow. Okay, now we've got that part ready and we can lay it aside. We can start making his bow. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is cut one piece that will be the tail of our ribbon. And then we can start making the bow. And let's see, for the tail piece, I've cut. Looks like about 11 and a half. You can cut it at about that or 12 or so, whatever works best for you. 12 might give you a little more room to work. Okay. And then I'm going to start making my loops. And I've just got that looped around once there. And I'm just going to kind of see how big I want his bow to be. Not too big. I may actually have to move those pine cones too because we don't have a whole lot of room. Okay, I'm going to say about there. And this ribbon looks pretty good from both sides. So it doesn't matter which way I loop it. And I'm just going to cut that off at the back pretty good ways from the center point there so that that won't slip out when we put that together. 
and put that on there kind of centered with the rest of it. Again, I'm going to cut a short piece to tie it all together. Okay, so I'm just going to scratch everything together in the middle. And I'm going to take about half of my pipe cleaner and bind that whole thing together right in the middle. And then I'm just going to take that and wrap it around. And then you can kind of pull the tails down and fluff out your bow. Actually, I think I'm going to unwrap that. And maybe attach it directly to our little pine sprig. that over into thirds and wrap that around and hot glue that right around the whole thing hides our pipe cleaner in the middle. And just cut off my excess. So what I'm going to do first, and I have to flatten my bow again. We'll fluff it out in the end once we get everything finished. I'm going to try to feed that right behind there. Feed it through my jingle bell. There we go. Should have thought of that before I glued that loop around my bow. And it would have been a lot easier. Okay. Now I can feed the knot right behind there. And our little jingle bell dangles right off the center. So that worked out pretty good. 
And now we can assemble our wreath. So I'm going to hold this in the direction where the narrow end comes down here for his snout. And I'm just going to glue that sparkly red ornament right in there. I'm going to take off the little gold part at the top. And I'm going to put a really generous glob of hot glue right there. And then just put the tip of that ornament right down in the glue. And hold that for a few seconds until it sets. I'm going to turn it over to the back and just kind of fill in to kind of get that hot glue on a larger area of the ornament there to make sure that it holds really well. And I might have to give that a few minutes to dry. So I'm going to hold this for a little bit while that sits up really good and I make sure it doesn't come off. And I'll be back to show you guys the rest. So I'm going to feed my pipe cleaner through like I did with my string for my jingle bell. This time going through the top. And I'm going to see if I can attach it through the branches on my wreath. twist my brown twist tie there to secure it. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue in there just to make sure everything holds. Actually quite a bit of hot glue. And then just press it up Hold it, give that a minute to sit up. And now for the best part, we're going to put his antlers in. I'm going to cut my wires down so that we don't have too much sticking through there. I'm going to leave about an inch probably. in with some hot glue. Just kind of choose a good spot and load it full with a good thick glob of hot glue. And just press it in. How 
cute is that already? I love that. So we're just going to try to find a good placement on the other side to even it out. And put in the other one. You can see there I'm putting a good thick glob of my hot glue so that it's got plenty to grab a hold of. Okay, so now all we have to do is fluff his bow. And just get everything adjusted the way you like it. I think I'm going to trim the ends of the ribbon. And a little fishtail shape. And when that's hanging on the door, this little jingle bell will dangle down. So there is a zoomed out view for you guys so you can see the whole thing. I really hope you guys like it. I really love this project. I think it's just adorable. Comment below and let me know what you think of it. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. Also join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit the blog. I'll put the links to all of those in the description box, so be sure and check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.